it's Tuesday today. I'm still in my dressing gown. It is nine o'clock, bang on, and I have got up this morning. I finally have been able to wake up normally and actually wake up at six naturally and feel energized. I had this week where I just, actually probably a week and a half, where I just literally could not wake up and I felt so exhausted. So I'm up this morning, I did a fresh layer of tan last night. I did actually sleep in it, which I know I said that I don't like doing, but to be honest, I put it on at about four o'clock and um, by the time I went to bed, it wasn't sticky at all, um, just because I didn't really have time to do it in the day. But I've got a gorgeous glowing tan. I feel like I've been on holiday. I've washed my hair, I've done my makeup, I've got myself all ready. And I've just been sat on my laptop getting some work done, planning some content for the week. And I've got a morning at home and then I am heading off to London for tonight and tomorrow. I'm going to Georgia's tonight and I'm so looking forward to it. We are going out for dinner tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, we're going to a restaurant that I haven't been to before, but it's part of the San Carlo group. Um, which is gorgeous. They've got them in Manchester. Selfridges rooftop is San Carlo. Um, so it's gorgeous, like Italian small plates. And I'm so excited. So we're going to dress up, have a nice girly evening. I'm really looking forward to it. And then tomorrow I have got a kind of creators panel talk networking thing with Pinterest. I'm really interested to see what it's going to be like. I've got no idea what to expect, but I am ready to be taking notes and to be immersed in the world of Pinterest, which if you don't know, I love Pinterest. It's probably one of my favorite sites for inspiration. I just love it. I probably log on to Pinterest about 10 times a day. Um, I'm constantly pinning things. I've now started to upload my own content onto there. So if you do use Pinterest and you wanna see more content from me or you wanna save it to your own boards, I mean, that would be wild. I can't imagine people saving my content as inspo, but <laughs> if you do want to, then I am uploading my own content onto Pinterest now. So I will leave my Pinterest linked below, but it's just Lauren Grace life. So yeah, I've got a very lovely couple of work days and then I'm back at home Thursday, Friday, the latter part of the week to shoot. I've got loads of things I want to shoot and I'm going to really utilize my time on Thursday and Friday to do that. So yesterday was just a bit of a at home day. I just had loads of chores to do and things to tick off because we had such a busy weekend. Um, and I actually ended up making a banana bread, which you would have seen and it didn't rise. And I don't know why. Um, I followed the recipe to a T. The only thing I can think is that the flour that I've got in the cupboard, because I haven't labeled it, I have a feeling that it was normal plain flour and sorry I'm just looking at a squirrel it is literally hanging upside down from a branch the squirrels are just mental around here um yeah so I think I used the wrong flour but anyway it was really nice and I had some last night and I warmed it up and it was delicious so um not the end of the world it will get eaten <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna carry on on my laptop and get some planning and stuff done. I've also got a therapy call um, at 12, so I've got a couple of hours. And then as soon as my therapy call's done, I am gonna be off to London. I need to plan what I'm gonna wear because I don't wanna bring loads of stuff, similar to when I stayed at Nadia's. I'm probably gonna wear something into London today that I'm gonna wear tomorrow and then just change my top or something like that for dinner tonight. Um, so I don't have to bring loads of things with me. And as I said in the last vlog, when I stayed at Nadia's, I will be borrowing all of George's things. <laughs> I'm also so excited to see her new wardrobe. Oh my goodness. We have been talking about her wardrobe for such a long time. And every time I've been over, we've been talking about the wardrobe and I've been like discussing it with her and I'm so excited to see it. So yeah, I will bring you to George's as well. Also, if you're looking for a cozy present for your birthday or anything, please put this Soho Home dressing gown on your list because it is the coziest, softest dressing gown I've ever owned. And I absolutely love it. Also, this color is just such a me color. <laughs> Speaking of Pinterest, one thing that I absolutely love doing is saving different floral designs. And I've just been working on this this morning. You know, in my last vlog, I had all the flowers on the table and I had them like dotted along the table here but it's quite impractical because I don't like having loads of stuff on the table. Usually I just have one candle, which I burn often in the afternoons or the evenings. 
So I did a little bit of experimenting. I had a little play around and I'm using my pedestal um, bowl from H&M Home and I have popped in some flowers into my floristry frog and I absolutely love how this looks. Oh my goodness. I definitely need to find some bigger low bowls like this and some ceramics so that when we move I can do even bigger displays and take branches from the garden and just do like really big um, floral displays like this because I absolutely love it and it's so easy to do and I just find it so therapeutic and fun so yeah I'm very happy with this I'm definitely gonna upload a picture of this onto Pinterest <laughs> okay I've just been planning my outfits and what I want to wear today and what I want to wear tomorrow and I always find this so difficult because I don't want to bring loads with me but I want my outfits to be different so anyway today's outfit please excuse all of the mess behind me because um i just i feel like i don't have enough space this is my outfit for today and i will probably wear this tomorrow as well so i've got my well i've just got a basic long sleeve top this one is actually from miss selfridge i've had this for so long i just love it it's really thick and warm um and then i've got my zara boxy boucle jacket and then i've got my wool um, tailored trousers which are also from Zara and I actually it had a belt with it and it kind of joined at the back um, and I hated it and it was so impractical so I've actually just cut it off and um, put my Celine belt on although my Celine belt is a little bit too big so I really need to get some more holes punched in it um, so it fits me better but yes this is my outfit and then i'm going to wear my chloe trainers today just because they're comfy and easy and then in my overnight bag i've got my wash bag i am going to bring my zara heels my new ones and wear these tonight for dinner and i might potentially wear these tomorrow at the pinterest event i'm gonna see how i feel um and then i've just bought some denim jeans my everlane ones and this gorgeous like bando strapless top from pixie market i absolutely love this it's like a thick ribbed material so i'm going to wear that tonight and i'm going to borrow a black jacket or blazer from georgia because um i just don't have the room to fit it in here and i kind of want to do like black with denim and then the white heels i think will look really nice so yeah that's my bag all packed and ready these long shot bags are honestly the best things for if you need to bring loads of things with you or like an overnight bag but you don't want a big bag i cannot recommend them enough i think i mentioned in my last vlog recently that i take these daily um symbiotics they're probiotic and prebiotic supplements um from seed and i've had these for such a long time and i go through phases sometimes i forget about them but I absolutely love them and I noticed such a difference and I've ordered one of these little refill packs what a great idea so you don't need to buy the jar you just buy this little paper packet comes through the post I think you can also do these on subscription as well um, and you just refill your jar and this is also compostable which is amazing so yeah I've just refilled it and I thought I would mention it because I take these with my breakfast um, every morning and I've really noticed such a difference since introducing this supplement into my routine. Okay I'm literally ready to go um, and I'm just going to jump on my therapy session before I leave and have a good one hour deep dive into my brain. Hi Lauren. Can you see me? Uh, no not yet. Oh hold on one second. Oh there we go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. Okay, I've just finished my therapy call. It is ten past one, so I'm going to get myself ready and head off. Um, and that was a really good chat. We were talking all about kind of anxiety and how it manifests itself and like self-confidence and just all these things and it was just so fascinating. I love chatting to John. I just feel like he makes me see things really introspectively and I'm not just on the surface. So yeah, it was amazing. Um, but I'm going to head off. I thought I would show you what I'm wearing before I go and i need to fill up my car i also want to get my car cleaned so i'm gonna check the time 
um, and see if I've got time before I get the train and head into London. <laughs> Okay guys, I am at George's. I've actually been here for a while, but we've just been chatting. Um, but I'm in her dressing room and I thought I would show you it because it's unbelievable. Um, I know she won't mind me giving you a tour, but how unbelievable is G's dressing room. It has just given me all the vibes. We were just talking about um, she wants to get some curtains to like cover this. It's gonna look amazing. And then she was asking me for advice about where to put her rail and seating and i was saying to her i think she should get a bench to go like in the middle or she can put it over here it's just to like move it around so it's really functional but i love it oh, it's also getting me very excited to do our dressing room when we move i've just been getting all the tips and advice from g a lovely couple of hours catching up we're actually going for dinner tonight which i'm really looking forward to i haven't been for like a nice girly dinner for ages so it's gonna be lovely and I'll show you what I'm gonna wear. I think we're just gonna get ready and head over there. We're going for dinner in Knightsbridge. So it'll be so nice. And I'm really living the city girl life when I stay at G's. Okay, we are ready for dinner. I've stolen George's blazer. That's so and good on I love it. Oh, you know, you need this to be a bit. Lower. I know, I need to. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> It's such a shame. How though. handy would it be if it was just a bit? Well, you can. Oh no, you can't. I say you can pull it down, but you can't. Hello. You look gorgeous. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Oh, what are you sugar? wearing? Oh, we're kind of doing like similar tones. Oh, we are. Let me do a OOTD. Also, just for reference, I have cleaned this mirror about five hundred times, but I don't think it looks dirty at all. But can't you see the smudge marks? Mm, in in tiny light, yeah, like very, only a little bit. Mine is literally filthy. Very filthy. Um, what is your outfit of the night? Um, top is. Where is the top? I think. Oh, I've still got Italian. Oh, Stradivarius. Stradivarius. That is such a nice top. Isn't it? It's yeah. A good basic. Really nice. Pants. It looks soft. Yeah, like the quality is so good. Pants are Karen Millen. Bag Love is them. Anine Bing. I love that. How nice is it? Yeah, it's so I feel cute. like it looks very, like, chic. It's a nice evening. Yeah. Shoes? Um, H&M. They're just, like, little... Oh, love them. Yeah. Nice. But smart cash. Yeah, kinda. that's good vibes. I'm wearing George's blazer. Huh? Get rid of my washing. Oh. <laughs> George's blazer from Source Unknown? Yeah. This is unbelievable. So nice. Look at that shape. Um, and then I've got this uh, little, which has fallen down, strapless ribbed top from Pixie Market. Jeans are Evelyne, Celine Belt, and Zara Shoes. Ready for dinner. We love it. The afternoon it's hello <laughs> it is Wednesday today and we have had such a nice morning we've just been like doing a bit of work on our laptops in our pajamas well I've been wearing George's pajamas um, and then we've been doing some DIY which was absolutely hilarious and we just made a quick decision to oh, get ready I don't know but I did hear that I thought it was you Creepy. No. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, there's a mirror. Bye. Okay. So we've made a quick decision to get ready and head out into Central. Um, I've got an event at 2.30. George has got returns to do. And it's such a nice day. So we thought we would just 
go out now and make the most of it take an outfit pick so my outfit of the day is a combination of what i wore yesterday and what i wore last night i am literally wearing pretty much the same thing outfit repeating um the same zara jacket the same zara trousers but i've got these heels on with this outfit instead of my trainers like yesterday just because i kind of wanted to be a bit more dressy today and i really love it they're so comfortable so i don't feel like i'm wearing super high heels and i kind of like it i'm feeling chic and celine sunny is because it's sunny outside so yeah i will see you later I have been so bad at vlogging today, I literally haven't picked up my camera at all. Um, mainly because I have been so productive with shooting and I've just, I've got into it again and, and I am enjoying it so much. I've got my music on, my Spotify work from home playlist, which I can leave linked below in case you want to listen to the same things as me. Uh, it's very like chill, like dreamy vibes. Um, and I'm just loving it, I can't tell. I don't know if you can tell, but I am just in the best mood. And I feel like my love of creating content and making things look really dreamy and wearing lovely things and all of that stuff is just finally all come together. And I don't know if it was the Pinterest thing yesterday, but I just have woken up feeling like I've got a new lease of life and just almost like everything's slot in place in my brain. So anyway, I have been styling a couple of different areas in the apartment to film and to put on Pinterest and TikTok and my home account. There's so many things. <laughs> and I'm loving how it's looking, so I thought I would just show you. I haven't changed much, but just, you know, added a couple of accessories here and there. I am also wearing the most unbelievable dress I think I own. I was sent this from M&M and oh my goodness, I wore this on... Sunday when we had the family over for um, Sunday lunch and it is so comfortable It's like a really thick jersey material really soft It kind of reminds me of the Napco pajamas like that really soft feel but all the details are stunning It's got these gold buttons which have like a little crest on them And then I've just put my Celine belt because it's kind of what it's kind of got this big waistband um, at the front so it's like ready for a belt basically and i just think it looks really nice i love navy and tan i'll show you it in the mirror so you can see it properly how gorgeous is this dress i love it now you know i'm 160 centimeters so i'm not the tallest and this is the perfect length i could wear flats with this heels i could even wear like knee-high boots oh i love it so much it's absolutely gorgeous i feel like i'm gonna wear this so much especially through kind of like spring, autumn, it's so beautiful. So massive thank you to me and M for letting me choose some pieces. I'm actually just about to shoot this now. I'm just charging up my camera battery and having a quick Diet Coke break. Um, so let me show you some areas that I've been styling up. Firstly, I just had a little mini restyle of this. I just put some branches in here. These are faux branches um just to give it a bit of something and i've just mixed up the books just to make it look a little bit different but it still pretty much looks the same but this is the area that i really wanted to work on i hate this window so much i love the size of it i love that it's huge but it's frosted they are like plastic windows i just do not like it it's so ugly so i tried to make it look a little bit nicer so I obviously always have my chair here, but I've added a little wooden side table. I actually always used to have this down the side of the sofa here, and you couldn't see it, so I brought it out. I love the colour of this. It really ties in with, like, the table and all the wood, and I think it just brings this area to life. And then on the windowsill, I've added my M&S Home lamp, which was in my office, and I never used it because I never sit there. Um, and I've just run an extension lead along here and hidden it behind the curtain, which is my top tip for hiding things. And then I've got my firm living vase and a beauty pie candle. Then over here is just pretty much the same. I've just got my pot, which I love. I just love how that contrast looks between the dark and the light. And the coffee table is pretty much the same. I've just added a couple more books um, and added my bowl, which I love. I just adore how that looks. And yeah, that is pretty much all I've done. I just wanted to focus on this area, really. 
And then the office is still looking the same. I haven't really changed much. Um, I don't know why I've got that extra cushion out. I think I was gonna use it in the living room. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to just minimize the amount of clutter I have in this room. I've got a bag down here which is full of PR bits and bobs that I've picked up across the last few months, which I'm saving for the house. So it's mainly like hand soap and body products and I just don't wanna use them. So I need to find a home for that. And then this is the bag of clothes I sorted out for Vinted. Um, which these are the pieces that haven't sold and my family had a look and took what they wanted So I think the rest of these pieces I'm gonna take to the local charity shop later on today Just so I can get rid of this bag because it's really in my way and then I just have a pile of new in bits um, Which I've just been going through so I thought we could do that now So just while I'm waiting for my camera to charge we can go through these boxes There's not loads of things, but I thought it would be worth sharing firstly I had a gorgeous delivery from Bobby Brown and this box is absolutely stunning. I'm kind of collecting nice boxes like this for when we move so I can put, you know, nice vases or crockery or whatever in these boxes because they're really sturdy and it's so good to have. So in here, I did actually get sent some biscuits um, which were really cool and I have eaten two of them. <laughs> but how cute is that, a little branded biscuit? This is a PR package for the Vitamin Enriched Face Base which is like the trending TikTok moisturiser. And believe it or not, I have never used it. I love Bobbi Brown. It's a brand that my mum always used to have lipsticks and like gorgeous eyeshadows. And I remember always stealing her lip her lipsticks and that's kind of like how I got into makeup, I think, when I was really young. I love the branding. It's just so classic and beautiful. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. I'm actually gonna put this on my dressing table and use this tomorrow morning when I get ready because it is meant to be the best primer and moisturizer before you, you do your makeup. So very intrigued to try this. My battery's flashing, so I'm gonna be quick. Why are all my cameras running out so quickly today? I also just had a delivery from Novo London, which if you guys know, I love Novo London so much. It's an independent based brand in London and all the pieces are such high quality. It's kind of like timeless basics that are going to last in your wardrobe for such a long time. They're all crafted with incredible materials and I just love them. I actually already have this tank top in white and it is phenomenal. I reach for it all the time because it's my favourite one. So I also picked up one in black and I also got one in the beige oatmeal colour. So I now have all three which I'm very pleased about. They are just stunning, like the material is so thick. You don't need to wear a bra with these if you don't want to. They're not see-through, they're really weighty. They just work with whatever you're wearing, whether you're wearing a skirt, jeans, tailored trousers. They are just such a staple in my wardrobe. And then I also picked up a new cashmere polo neck jumper. And I know you're probably thinking polo neck jumpers are not needed in spring, but these cashmere jumpers are the perfect piece. They're so lightweight and airy and soft and just, oh, look how gorgeous that is. I have a couple of these already and I love the bodysuit design because it fits so seamlessly into your trousers. They're just so gorgeous. So I really wanted a camel colour to go with my new bomber jacket. And another thing that is brilliant about these cashmere pieces is you can layer them up. So in the winter, I will wear these under all my clothes. I wore them skiing. They are just such a good, versatile piece for all year round. So very excited to style this up with like some suit trousers, the bomber, some trainers or heeled boots. I just, yeah, you just can't go wrong to be honest. Okay, it is much later. It's actually quarter to five. I have been so on the go today and I'm really pleased. I've got such good content and I've just finished editing it all. It's taken me so much longer than I thought, um, but I'm very happy. It's also absolutely pouring down outside now. We have honestly had so many seasons today, it's the weirdest thing. Um, but I have just been sat on the sofa right here, editing all of my content and getting it all scheduled and all planned and ready to upload on all the various channels. And as much as I would love to go and take my makeup off, sit and watch TV and honestly fall asleep because I feel so tired. I just can't do late nights. Having like two late nights in a row, and when I say late, I mean like half 11, 12, is too much. <laughs> I just can't do it. I think I'm honestly a grandma. 
um but everywhere is a mess the bedroom i mean it's not too bad in here but the bedroom and the kitchen are horrendous so i really need to tackle that so i think i'm gonna put a podcast on blast through all of the cleaning up and tidying and make it nice and then i can reward myself with taking my makeup off and sitting down <laughs> um but yeah the kitchen is just cluttery there's just stuff everywhere stuff to put away i've got all the dead flowers i've chucked in the sink and it's just cluttery um and then also i will show you what our bedroom looks like because i mean it's very dark but there are just piles and piles of stuff everywhere washing to put away clothes to sort out i didn't even really make the bed so yeah so it's not all minimal aesthetic there is often rooms that look like this constantly um so anyway i'm going to get on make this room lovely and i'm very much ready for an early night i also need to clean this mirror because it's so dusty good morning everyone it's friday today i am just doing my makeup this morning and i thought we could just do it together i'll do it super quickly and i'll just show you my everyday makeup that i wear all the time and all the products and i will link everything below because i have been getting a lot of questions on my makeup recently and honestly it's always the same so firstly this morning i have just used my normal skincare and then i've already done my base because i did it and then thought oh i should film this um, so I've mixed the Rose Ink Skin Tint in the shade 30 with my Ambient Soft Glow Foundation from Hourglass. This is in the shade 6.5. I put a tiny pump of each on the back of my hand and mix them together. And I use the Rose Ink Number no. 3 brush to blend all of that in and it just creates a really nice seamless finish. I just love the finish of those two products together. I've been mixing them together for such a long time and I just really love it. And then I use the Rose Ink Concealer just to go over any blemishes. I've got a tiny one there. Any like little scars that I have on my face, any dark spots or redness. And I also do a tiny bit under my eyes. I think for me, less is more. And when I have a lot of makeup on or when I take a really long time doing my makeup, I hate how it looks, so I like to just do a small bit and then touch up if I need to. I'm just blending this in using the Hourglass foundation brush. I really love this. It's a really dense, soft brush, so it's so good for blending in. And I feel like it just makes such a flawless um, coverage. I also have the concealer in the shade 50, just in case you are wondering. As I said, I will link all of these products below in case you want to have a look at them yourself. So yeah, that is literally like my coverage of my base done. Very simple. I'm going to bronze up a little bit with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade number two. Using a very old M&S Beauty brush. I think I've had this brush for about a year now. And it used to be in one of those containers that kind of has like a lid on it. And it um, you can put it in your bag. It's really good for travelling. But it broke and I love the brush so I carry on using it. And I just put this kind of like where my cheekbones are. With this bronzer I always start by adding it to like the back of my cheekbones I guess. Like right back here to create a bit of definition. And then I bring that into my forehead and kind of just bring that around. I never used to use bronzer and... Um, it wasn't until I went to Ibiza with Georgia last year and um, I was watching her do her makeup and her face was just so glowy and it looked incredible. So I asked her if I could borrow her bronzer. I think she had the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer and oh my god, I absolutely loved it. So literally on that trip, I ordered some bronzer for when I got home because I just couldn't believe how much it changed your face and I just never thought I needed it but... And now I just couldn't live without it. I do a really tiny dusting, by the way. So I don't pick up loads of products and I like to just build it up. Um, I just find it looks a little bit more natural. So once I've kind of done like that little bit there, I then just dust over my cheeks, a little bit on my nose. I basically just use bronzer pretty much everywhere just to add a bit more colour and glow into my face. Especially because I don't always tan my face. I probably 
do my tan lux drops once or twice a week so it fades really quickly um so it's nice just to add a little bit more glow and then moving on to blush blush is honestly one of my holy grail makeup products i couldn't live without it it transforms how my face looks so this is the rose ink cream blush i've used this for years um i'm currently using the shade i think it's dahlia but the label's rubbed off on the back so i'm not sure um what color this is but i will link it below and i'm using the rose ink number two brush which is like a stippling brush so i really like this for applying blush so i just dab it in the cream and i kind of just like press it on and then do little like dabbing motions to blend it in just so that it looks really seamless if i keep looking over here it's because my mirror is literally right behind you are resting on my mirror <laughs> so today i've got a filming day i'm going to film youtube videos today um yesterday was more kind of like instagram pinterest tiktok today is youtube so a very busy filming day and i'm really excited for the videos that i'm filming today so um yeah be a good day the sun is also shining which puts me in a good mood also once i've done my blush i then take my concealer brush and i just kind of go over um the area here because i find sometimes the pink is a bit too strong so i just do this i mean this probably does nothing but i just like to blend it a little bit so it looks as natural as possible and then i'm just going to brush my brows i use an old mascara brush to brush my brows i just i don't know why i think i didn't have one of these eyebrow brushes and i had an old mascara and i cleaned it and i've just used it ever since but it is actually so handy because this has got a silver lid so finding this in my makeup bag is so much easier than if this didn't have the lid and it was just like this <laughs> so yeah that is all I do to my brows. I don't put any products in them. And then I am one of those weird people that do their lips before their mascara. I just always have. So I'm using the NYX lip liner in the shade London. I have been using this for quite a while now. And you might remember I used to use the MAC liner in the shade Spice, which I loved. But I feel like recently I haven't been loving it. And I don't know if it's too red. Um, so this is such a good nude. I'm going to show you how it looks on okay so you can see it's such a lovely color and it's just a really nice natural pinky nude i love this so the shade london so once i've lined my lips often i use the charlotte tilbury lipstick in the shade pillow talk but most of the time i just do lip liner and lip gloss this is the fenty beauty gloss bomb lip gloss in the shade fussy heat number two honestly this is the most incredible lip gloss it's so glossy and plumping you barely need to put any on so it lasts for such a long time i absolutely love it it's incredible cannot recommend that lip gloss enough then we're on to my final step which is mascara i although i do get a lash lift i still curl my lashes because they are just so straight and when i put mascara on it almost weighs them down and they just don't curl so i am going to curl my lashes these curlers are from revita lash but to be honest any lash curler is going to do the job you can already see like look at that difference the mascara that i've been using for the last probably like four months is the l'oreal pro xxl lift mascara this is so incredible it's got number one and number two so you almost do like um different stages and i just apply quite a thin layer of number one and i use this one to kind of like carve out where i want my lashes to sit i'm gonna come close so you can see so that is literally a few coats of the first layer how incredible is that so sorry about that really close horrible angle <laughs> this is like 10 minute makeup for me i like to get ready quickly i don't like spending loads of time on my makeup I just can't be bothered. I just want to get ready and get on. So onto the second eye. Again, I just do exactly the same. And then what I usually do is then I'll do my hair and then I'll come back and do my second coat on the number two side of the mascara. Um, so I'm going to go and do my hair. 
Um, I haven't brushed it today and I still got my curls in from yesterday so I'm gonna just zhuzh it up a little bit, come back and then I'll do the second layer and carry on and finish my makeup. Right, I've just touched up my hair with my straightener curls. Honestly, it takes me like three minutes to do. It's so quick, especially when I've already done curls the day before. I just do a couple more and it's done. Um, so that's all finished. I am now going to do my second coat of mascara. What I like to do is curl my lashes again, which I know is probably not the best thing to do, but I just find it keeps my lashes um, nice and lifted and curly. So I just do another little curl and then on to phase two i mainly put the mascara at the ends of my lashes because i find that's where the mascara from the first round hasn't really stayed and this just kind of thickens them up adds a little bit more volume and lengthens them even more so can you see a before just it's unbelievable so there is my lashes how unbelievable I'm honestly so in love with that mascara. Finally, I'm going to finish off with my setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I love this. Georgia actually got me onto this setting spray as well. And there we go. Makeup finished. Super easy. And if I'm doing that on a normal day and not chatting through it, it takes me probably like seven to ten minutes. It's super, super quick. So I am now ready for the day. Super quick and easy. Before I start filming, I want to share with you some new bits that I picked up from Amazon. As I keep saying in these videos, we are moving much further into the countryside. Right now, we are actually in a town, so I can walk into town. We've got a shop really close to us. Um, it feels much more kind of like hustle and bustle, but our new house is surrounded by fields. We're next to a woods. There is nothing in walking distance. So it's very much the countryside and I am so excited. So I wanted to pick a few pieces that I knew were going to be really versatile that I could add into this little mini capsule wardrobe um, that are practical, but they still look nice. The only thing I would say is a lot of these countryside wear brands are very expensive. The likes of kind of Barber, Fairfax and Favour, Holland and Cooper, they are all very expensive and I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on these pieces because I don't know how much I'm going to wear them. I may wear them loads in the future and then I might invest in a better quality one, but I wanted to test out the waters and I looked on Amazon and I have found some really good pieces. Um, I've tried them all on and they are actually incredible. So I thought I would share them with you. You may not be interested in countryside clothes, but definitely gonna become a part of my life in a few months when we move. So I thought I would share it. Also, I know a lot of you guys watching love the Cotswolds and like you love the countryside or you live in the countryside. So even if you've got a trip coming up and you want like a nice outside jacket or I don't know, anything, this could be useful. So yeah, let's do a little try on. Some of these pieces, these bits here, I actually already have, but I thought I would just share them with you so I could show you like how I would style them. But do these colors not just scream the countryside? <laughs> these tones are just so amazing. So let me try these on for you. I've actually just put this Novo London um, tank top on and you can see how long they are. Like it literally goes past my um, bum pretty much. But yeah, these tank tops are amazing. So I thought I would put this on and show you. So firstly, I got some chocolate brown leggings and I was gonna get some from Adenola, but I thought I would give these Amazon ones a go because loads of people speak about these. And I wanted to see what the hype was. When I tell you these are buttery soft, so silky. Oh my goodness, they are so soft. They are probably a little bit too big. They're quite baggy and they're quite long, as you can see. But I'm not too worried about that because I feel like I'm not going to wear these for the gym. I am going to wear these for like being outside. Um, they are quite baggy. I feel like you can really see how baggy they are here. Um, but they are really high waisted and I just really like this colour. So I think I may get the Adenola ones um, just because I know they fit me so well. But these will be really nice with like a big jumper or something quite impressed they obviously are really long but I'm not too worried about that these pieces aren't new but I thought I would just share them with you because I love anything cozy and when I'm going out 
for a walk or like when we go to the beach for walks or whatever like anything like that I just like to wear something really soft and cozy so um Jack has actually bought me both of these for um for like Christmas presents over the years so firstly is this khaki green zip up fleece this is from Columbia Sportswear and these are just so good for chucking on really soft and cozy and I love this I actually wear this quite a lot I used to wear it a lot at my old house when we would walk Gracie and stuff like that it's just so comfy if I would help my mum with stuff in the garden I'd always put this on because I just love it and then he also got me one in cream because you know I love cream and this is actually from North Face and I did actually take this skiing and I wore it quite a lot but I don't think I shared it um, but it was brilliant, such a good little zip up jumper. And then this is the coat that I've had for a while. Um, you might remember this in some of my old vlogs when I bought this. This is from New Forest Clothing, but on Amazon, I found so many identical to this and they were actually a lot cheaper. So I'm actually gonna link the one that I found. I think it might be from this brand um, down below, but this is just a really simple tweed, kind of like a hunting jacket. It's got a couple of different pockets. Um, like a khaki green tweed and then it's got the really nice um, buckle detail at the back so it kind of cinches in and just looks a little bit more styled than just a really big oversized coat but I have worn this so much and it is the best jacket it's so warm it's got a really thick layer inside so it's such a good jacket for going out but the two new pieces I got so firstly I wanted to get a jacket that was a little bit more lightweight for spring that was a bit more waterproof that I could wear when we're doing the garden or when we're going out for walks and it's a bit rainy or whatever. But I wanted something thinner and a little bit bigger so that I can fit really big jumpers on because that other coat, I can't really fit big jumpers on underneath. It feels quite claustrophobic. So this one is from Amazon. Um, it's just a really simple kind of wax jacket vibe. Um, but it's like this waterproof material. It's got this really nice kind of cord brown collar detail. And I love it. Doesn't it just look so nice? I got this in a size medium. Did I get it in a medium? This is actually from Jules. And I did buy it on Amazon. But obviously Jules is like a really well-known brand. Um, and this actually says... The trusted Right as Rain collection designed for the great British outdoors. I got this in a size medium. I have a feeling this might be men's, which I much prefer. I prefer the fit of men's outerwear when you want it a bit more boxy and just a little bit bigger because I've got a fleece on, but I could also fit a really big cable knit jumper or I don't know, anything underneath here. And it's just a really good waterproof jacket especially when we're in the new house and we're doing the garden and I wanna chuck something on and I'm not gonna worry about getting it dirty. This is just brilliant, exactly what I wanted and I love it. And then I also saw that they had this hat and I really like wearing baseball caps, um, kind of on the same lines as what I was saying when it's horrible weather and I need to go outside. Um, I wanted something that was just kind of fitting with this style rather than like a sporty one so this is not essential but i just loved it so this is from a brand called walker and hawks again from amazon this is actually one size um so i wasn't sure if it was going to fit me but this is in the moss green color and the detailing on this i think this was about 16 pounds i could be wrong but look at the detailing of this it's so it's the tweed main bit of the hat and then all of the detailing like this bit and the bit at the back are like a brown suede. The quality is incredible, I'm so impressed. So I did actually try this on um, last night and I love it so much. Now I am just awaiting the dog to go with my dog walking outfit. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna um, get on with filming so I will catch up with you a bit later. Good evening, sorry about the horrendous lighting, um, but I am all finished work for the day, it's 7 o'clock, I've just had a quick shower 
and freshen up. I've just got changed into something comfy because me and Jack are going to go to the pub tonight for a drink and we're going to bring home a pizza because they do the best pizzas in our local pub. It's like a wood-fired pizza oven and they are so delicious. So often we go for a drink and then order our pizza and then bring it home with us. So that is what we're going to do tonight. Probably watch some TV and have a nice early night and I'm really looking forward to it. Good morning everyone, it is Saturday morning, we are just about to leave to go and get Jack's hair cut and pop to Waitrose to get some bits for the weekend and then we are heading over to the farm for a lovely chilled weekend, I'm very much looking forward to it, I want to go for nice walks, be outside, be with the dogs, it's going to be lovely, we also are planning on doing a roast tomorrow which would be nice and do i look really pale hmm i haven't put much makeup on today i feel like i look a bit pale um but anyway i curled my hair with my straighteners i washed it this morning and i've done like a bit of a different curl so it's not so ringletty it's more just like a little bit flicky at the ends and i really like how it looks it almost looks like a blow dry outfit of the day i'm wearing a novo tank top i actually was wearing this yesterday for only a little bit so i put it back on today then i've got my cable knit jumper from h&m which i always wear at the weekends adeno leggings and socks and then my new coat which i absolutely love i just love the color of this it's such a good like multi-purpose coat i can wear this out into town and i can also wear this out in the garden today and go for walks and stuff so very pleased with this purchase we packed up our bags and we are literally ready to go. We had sausage sandwiches this morning and they were so delicious. I got some corker sausages and they were very yummy. So that's us all fueled up for a day outside. Where are you? So windy but we are at the farm now we've been here for a little while the boys are just doing some bits to the pond and I'm just sitting in the sunshine it's lovely the wind is a bit intense but when the um, wind stops the Sun is just so lovely and I've got this little one or should I say big one because he's absolutely huge with me are you sunbathing Ted oh he's so cute I've got myself a diet coke living the dream today I don't know if you'll find this interesting but the boys built this pond um, I think it was last summer they finished it off and we had some fish in our pond at home before we left the old house we brought them over so that chagoy there Charlie he's absolutely ginormous there's quite a lot of koi in here as well I just love it it's so calming and Jack built that little waterfall back there and it's just so relaxing. The boys are, hello you. Ben's been um, planting some flowers this morning. 
very Monty Donovan. And they're just doing something with all the filters that they built around here. They did this all themselves, so clever. You okay, sweetheart? Yeah. What are you doing? I was just expecting. Oh. And it all came out the top. Oh. Look, all the meters on the floor. <gasps> oh no. It's so annoying. How are you going to pick that up? Hoover it up. Oh no. So that is so annoying. Did you just forget? Well, I was doing it, and then Ben came around to say about the fertilizer. Oh god. What a nightmare. <laughs> It's the Monty Don himself. I was just explaining to my vlog about the pond. The pond? Yeah, I was saying how you built it. Built oh god, what a nightmare. Roll. It's so tiny as well. Oh dear, whoopsie.